Hey, welcome back friends. Right behind me is the smallest Grand Design Imagine that Grand Design builds. And we're gonna take a tour of it today. They've got some really interesting features that you're not gonna see in trailers this small, generally speaking. And uh, I really like this floor plan for like a couple's camper. I hope you'll stick around. All right, I'm gonna walk you around the exterior first. That's how we generally do things. Uh, again, this is the smallest grain design Imagine built. So great little couples camper, easily half ton towable. You can see uh, a nice size awning for a unit this size. Comes standard with Goodyear Endurance. They've got a new jack design. This is this is new, I didn't see these in Hershey. So they kind of take the the auto auto stabilizers and they make a manual you can see where you've got your uh, three-quarter uh, socket right there and you just zip those down that's interesting I, I'm excited to use that you can see an LP connection right here but yeah nice little unit from Grand Design I'm real impressed with the inside of it there's your furnace right here water heater this is a 30 amp rig. You would not need more than one air conditioner on this for sure. Swintec slide. So this is an XLS line from Imagine and they are going to uh, be big on weight savings. So you can see all of your sewer hookups here. Obviously that needs a T handle that'll be replaced at the dealer. But yeah, weight saving, so a little bit smaller frame. It's all about the weight with these XLS Imagines. Let's take a look up front. There's a 165 watt solar on the top of this thing, so that's pretty cool. 12 volt fridge, we'll go by that in a minute. There's your interior storage. Now you'll notice that this interior storage is a little smaller than what you normally see in an Imagine. And this here is gonna be a Murphy bed. You'll see that in just a second as well. But you can see your aluminum frame and still a good size storage. Still real good size storage. Here in the front, the new logo. Sorry, it's a little tight in these shows, guys. And here's your convenience center over here. Now, there's your solar. And remember that window right there. I love that they did that on the interior. Yeah, nice, nice looking rig. This is a, a great couples camper. Got a half ton truck. Better fuel mileage, the lighter you are. You guys understand the advantages of being lighter. Let's, uh, let's go inside and check it out. All right, here we go. Let's step inside. You got a friction hinge door, but it also has a holder. I'll show you that right there. Let's come inside. And the first thing that stuck out to me more than anything in this unit is the amount of counter space in this rig. That is an insane amount of counter space in a tiny little couples camper like this. And the fridge is also huge. That's a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. It's massive. I mean, look at that. That's crazy to me. I, that's much bigger than the one we've got in our bunkhouse. So this is built for extended trips. The bathroom is a little bit smaller than most of the Imagines. But I'm 6'1", I can still fit there just fine. I'm glad they put those hooks there. I'm gonna back you out a little bit. What's up guys? Shower's still plenty big. I think all of the showers in the Imagines are standard size. And we've got, uh, I love this little counter right here. Or this little cabinet, I mean. That is clutch. Towel storage, we use those all the time. Oh, nice. That's important in the bathroom. Very good. A lot of cabinet space in this tiny little bathroom. It's not that tiny for something this big, but I'm just impressed with all of this. We'll stick around. Uh, stick around for a minute. I'll get you all the weights at the end. Here's your. 
all your info here, awning, slide, all of your tanks, your battery, uh, you know, all that's Furion entertainment. This goes over your sink, so this actually rolls out over your sink. They'll probably, I, I'm here on media day, they'll probably prep these things for the show a little better. Little storage up top, that could come in handy. Yes, I was hoping they wouldn't block that off. Yeah, it goes all the way back. Very cool. All right, let's look up front from back here. MKE, I'm assuming, stands for Middle Kitchen Entertainment. And you can see the entertainment area there looking right at your TV. That's very nice. Now, I don't see where we would put the table. There's normally a table, a removable table that goes right here. Um, I need to figure that one out, but... Good bit of windows, three windows in the slide, and then that little window there, it's one I talked about a minute ago, when this Murphy bed comes out, that's going to be nice to have. You've got, I'm going to wait a second, I'm going to take this Murphy bed, Murphy bed down in just a second, show you the storage first. Very cool. And of course you've got your outlets down here sofa under sofa storage what will come under bed storage yeah let's pop that bed down and see what it looks like so here we go before and here's our after just locks in the, the couch tri folds out and you got a little latch there there's a nice boards for support that comes down and then the mattress folds down too that table we were talking about there it is it was in there ready to go Nice cubbies, that's a pleasant surprise. Nice cubbies here with another outlet and USBs. Reading lights up top, little storage area up top. And you can still walk in and out of the rig. Uh, I'm not a narrow person. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm not so sure if it was just a couple's camper, we'd just leave it like this, to be honest with you. But if you had guests, you could knock it out of the park. Now, I'm gonna reiterate those outlets right here, heaters, fans, air filters, uh, those are awesome for that. I love to see that they put some of those close to the floor. Now, let me give you one more once around. That'll be about it, guys. We try to keep them short and sweet around here. I will uh, list the description below all of the, uh, where you can find more information on this unit. Uh, let's go over the weights and that'll be it all right here's your weights here unloaded vehicle weight is 4600 pounds and some change 480 pounds a hitch 2111 22 feet exterior length 14 inch tires 14 inch awning 43 gallons of fresh 45 gallons of gray and 37 gallons of wastewater anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one and a nice little lightweight couples camper from Grand Design. The smallest imagine they built. See ya.